the billions from the Middle East came to the Eastland side in Manchester, the city would reach this level. And their ambitions won't rest here. For Manchester City, it's not new for... Aguero. And trying to place it in, Sergio Aguero with uh, more than a hint of... And getting twice to the European Cup. He would have expected to get a better contact. Just on a conventional pitch, it is a very good playing surface here. It was never played five guys in advanced positions there at times. It was five against four, and perhaps the extra pass might have come in a bit handy there. Barry. Got free, Dzeko. And it would have needed another touch beyond the back post from Aguero. Yeah, it's something you don't expect from Italian back. Dzeko, very powerfully done. It could be put in here by Aguero like this. Difficult angle. And well, the goalkeeper, not a judge to have got a touch. Fabulous football here from Dzeko. We never saw this last year, this pace, this power. He's playing with real confidence, this young man. It's a hell of a shot. I don't think De Sanctis touches it. Had it been on goal, then... Jack Ozan. Aguero. Waiting for Kolarov, but not using him. Silva. He's coming up through in the end. To the way, as far as Barry, who scuffs his shot. Silva. Aguero. Barry. Dzeko. He's got Aguero with him. Here's Aguero. Mm, seen that long. It's 24 minutes, but... In that he could have taken a shot on there. It was at such a nice pace for him that he may have been better off taking that first time. But this is a difficult situation. Back from Nazareth. Aguero, but he'd be in contention even though Rooney's done so spectacularly. He's done a bit special, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Takes a bit of stopping. He's found Aguero. Mm -hmm. He deliberately lured the defender in or not. It was a, a late challenge by Cannavaro for which he's booked. No, it's a silly challenge. He tackles with his wrong foot as well. His left foot he tackles with. It's a right-footed challenge. Yaya Toure in full stride. Aguero. Got Nasri waiting in the middle, and he's got Yaya Toure who hits the bar. Both sides have hit the bar now. Well, he should get up because the game's going on. All coming from a Napoli corner. Referee stopped it now for an injury. And Yaya Toure thinks he should have stopped it because the ball should have been in the back of the Napoli net. That was a silly corner kick, was it? Getting the signal to come on. but he's certainly relished the chance to get forward on several occasions. But I'm fine. 40 minutes gone, between the third best side in the Premier League. Silva early for Aguero. He's got a lot to do. Oh, and he's brought down. That's a reckless challenge by Aronika. That's a caution. Uh, it's extremely poor defending. He's only, got a, he's only got a stand up and usher him away from the goal. But again, a rash challenge. They've always been extremely, extremely good with him in Serie A. And it's nice to see him once again. Silva. Aguero. Mm. Well, in the Premier League games, they're beginning to these sort of positions and really playing proper final. Barry intervened for Manchester City. Barry, for Aguero, for Zabaleta, and Gareth Barrett dropped his way. Toure, Aguero, Aguero, Gargano can't. Zabaleta involved again. 
it's looping on to the top of the net. It is a corner. Aguero is the closest City player to the cross. And Carnavaro just gets the a tad, uh, tad up. For a while, he was a Bolton player. He only played once, I think, in the uh, senior side. A lot of injuries. Come back to bite them as the uh, route wears on. Aguero's wife, Janina, was born while her father, Diego Maradona, was playing for Napoli. Back by Inlet. It's only Aguero upfield for Manchester City at the moment, and he's seen off by some diligent work from Gargano. They've got Inla sitting right in front. It's very, very difficult to manipulate the ball in and around. Instinct. You need at the highest level decision making, so important. Aguero, past Maggio, in goes Aguero, hits the bar! It's only out as far as Zabaleta, his first touch wasn't great, but he's gone and reclaimed it, and he's got a free kick. But Sergio Aguero, at the end where he's got the majority of his uh, goals in the stadium. Players, great movement, great movement across the near post. We've seen it from Cavani, we've seen it from Chicharito already this season. Great movement to get across the near post, and that's exactly what he did there with that ball in from Nazri. Let's change the move. That's Manchester City's first Champions League goal. And it's 1-1 at the Etihad Stadium. And he certainly has wonderful time. Cliche. Some fun, I will carry on. Well, it didn't stop him having a nose for goal, did it? <laughs> Here's uh, Aguero looking to... Uh, Show the uh, attacking qualities that they have, and here's Aguero. Gargano's the player, he's got to be uh, careful with his defensive work, and he's stayed on his feet, put one foot in, and then he's gone in. When reinforcements were actually arriving, and... Tevez. Aguero. He hit the bar. Zabaleta. Ooh, had it dropped for him. Aguero would have been onside. He's kind of chased it down against Maggio. Aguero working cleverly with Clichy. Comes out to Aguero. To Tevez. To Aguero. Back for Tevez. Minute of stoppage time on the Champions League debut, Manchester City. He gave them the lead. Collar off with the equaliser from a fine free kick at the Etihad Stadium. Manchester City won, Napoli won.